All right, there have been so many interesting free agent signings today. We already dove into Nashville going gangbusters, grabbing Stamkos, Marcia So, and Brady Shea. Some particularly fascinating ones to me were Bertuzzi going to Chicago for four years for $5.5 million per. Suddenly, there's a bit of a supporting cast starting to take shape around Bedard. Jake DeBrus getting seven years at 5.5 from Vancouver is really interesting. He's probably going to get a solid chance to ride shotgun on Elias Pettersson's line. A day after getting bought out by the Oilers, Jack Campbell signs a one-year 775 with Detroit. He's from Michigan. Like I said in yesterday's video, I hope he reestablishes himself as an NHL goalie here. Now with the pressure of the big contract and the Canadian market Stanley Cup contender off his shoulders, it's his hometown team. That one's definitely piqued my interest. The Flames also did some tidy work today. I'm a fan of those Ryan Lomberg and Jake Bean contracts. The one that really fascinates me though is Anthony Manta. They signed him one year 3.5. He's a big body. We know he's got some nice scoring touch, but consistency and health have always been the things with him. I'm not sure if him and Huberto know each other, but they both grew up in the Montreal area. I'm sure the Flames are hoping there can be some chemistry there. I want to focus this video though on three signings to two teams is basically keeping together and reuniting two duos. First, Sean Monaghan signing with the Columbus Blue Jackets, five years, 5.5 million. You guys know he's one of my favorite players ever. I'm happy for him. And I know he just had a really nice bounce back season, but whew, the term there is definitely more than I thought it was going to be. The connection here to Johnny Gaudreau is obvious from their Calgary days. That's clearly a big reason why this went down in Columbus and why he got that kind of money in term. Monaghan signed for five years and Gaudreau has five years left on his contract. It's been a couple of years since they played on the same team and even longer since they played on the same line. Remember, for about the last year and a half of Gaudreau's time in Calgary, he played with Lindholm and Kachuk. But for someone who watched over 95% of the games these two played together, when they're clicking and their chemistry's rolling, it's absolute magic. That's what's going to be most interesting to me though. How much of that chemistry is still going to be there? Is this going to work like it did in Calgary? Because Columbus just made a big time commitment to it working. And what's it going to mean for the team and for the franchise if it doesn't? All of a sudden, I'm very interested in Columbus Blue Jackets games this season. The other one is the two former Flames, the two former Canucks, now joining each other in Boston. Lindholm has been linked to to the Bruins since like the dawn of time. We saw that one coming. Boston paid a pretty penny to lock him in though. Seven years, 7.75. At that price, you're hoping he can be a first line centerman or at the very least a great second line centerman. And joining him is Nikita Zadorov and I'm sorry Canucks fans. Zadorov especially, there was hope in re-signing up until a couple days before free agency opened. For him to not only leave but to go to Boston of all places, I can't help but feel for Canucks Nation on that one. He wasn't cheap either. Five million a year for six years. Both of these guys got paid going to their third straight team together. Zadorov has already started endearing himself to Bruins fans, telling people not to call him Big Z ever again, and just raving about Boston as a sports city in general. The fans are going to love that guy. He's going to fit in perfectly as a big bad Bruin. Lindholm is the more intriguing one to me here. What's he going to be like in Boston? Although it was expensive, that team definitely got better. We'll see if those two can finally get out of round two while playing on the same team. This was one of the wildest day ones in free agency we've seen in a while. So much action and movement. If I missed your favorite or most impactful signing for your team, I'm sorry. Let me know in the comments down below who that was. Keep in mind, I'm going to talk about some of the other moves as well over the coming days, especially like Yuri Slavkovsky. Gotta talk about that one. Even though that one isn't player movement, it's still huge. Let me know. Please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you so much for watching. You're awesome.